Hello and welcome to PE Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to construct angle 105 degree. So that's angle 105. So we are looking at angle 105 degrees. So in construction of angles like this, one of the things you have to take note of when starting out is to decide what are the angles you are going to use to achieve it. And before you can do it, you have knowledge of the basic of construction of basic angles like angle 60, angle 30, angle 90, angle 45 will be of great importance. So now for us to get angle um, 105 degree by construction method, what we are going to be using is angle 19 degrees plus angle 15 degrees. So if you add this up, it's going to be giving you 105 degrees. So that's what we are going to be doing in this video to get angle 105. So to start with, let me draw my line. So, so I already have my straight line and on this line I'm going to draw a semicircle. So all right, so I haven't done that, so let me take note of some of those points. So from the center of the semicircle and where the semicircle is touching my straight line. So let me call the center point O, let me call this point A and let me call this point B. Now since I said we are going to be using um, 90 degrees plus 15 degrees, so the first thing I'm going to need to construct is angle 90. So I bring in my compass at any convenient length, I place it on point B, I draw an arc. With the same length I'll come to point A, I'll draw another arc. Now from the point of intersection, which is right here, I'll draw a vertical line to come and touch point O. And you also have to note that when you are doing construction like this, all the lines are supposed to be faint. Exactly. Like the one you are seeing um, on your screen, it should be faint line. But for the purpose of, um, of this tutorial, I'm making everything bold so that you can see them clearly. So I've done that. The next thing is for us to get angle 15. And for us to do that, you bring back your compass that's used to draw the semicircle or with the same radius um, or the same length of the semicircle, the, I mean the radius of the semicircle, you place it on point A and then you draw an arc. So where this arc is touching the semicircle, right here. So this is it right here. So you don't necessarily need to draw a line to come and meet point O. So you just need to take note of it. So let me call it, so let me call this one point C. And where this vertical line is touching the semicircle, let me call it point D. Exactly. So what we are going to do next is to bring in your, your compass. And then, so at any convenient length from point D, because from here, this angle from here to here is making angle 60. And while from this point C, between point C and point D, we have an angle 30. So what we want to do is to bisect this angle, that means you want to divide this angle into two. So we are going to be having 15, 15. And remember that addition of the 15 plus the 90 will give us 105 degrees. So that's what we want to do. So we bring in your compass at any convenient length, you place it on point D. You draw an arc. Exactly. So with the same length, you come to point C. And then you draw an arc. So take note of the point of intersection, which is right here. So you have to be careful when picking the point of intersection, make sure it's at the center of the intersection itself. So from that point, we are going to draw a line to point O. To point O. And having done that, we've been able to get our angle 105. So our angle 105 is, is this. So this right here is our 105 degrees. So this is how you go ahead to construct angle 105 degrees. So if you get the concept, let me know in the, com uh, in the comment section. And if you have any question or any comment, also leave it in the comment section. And if you want to also know how to construct every other angles like angle 33, 34, 97 and the half, angle 52 and the half, and then 78, 34, 
I have a lot of videos like that on my playlist of technical drawing. So do check them out. And um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.